In microservices circles, it's often considered a best practice to follow what are called 12-factor apps. One of the ideas behind a 12-factor app that I think is still relevant today is the idea that you should get your configuration from your deployment environment instead of baking it into your application itself. In traditional Java EE and potentially .NET applications, you would have to compile a configuration directly into your artifact and deploy it with the artifact. And if you needed to deploy to multiple locations, you had to create different artifacts. With the advent of cloud native and containers, what we really would like to do is we'd like to deploy our application and have it automatically discover its configuration from the environment. Fortunately, ASP.NET Core provides us a very simple way to achieve that. So inside of our program.cs file, where we've already configured Serilog, what we're going to do is in our configure app configuration method, we're going to add support for pulling in another configuration file. There we go. And that's this add JSON file is looking for an optional file and it will not reload the application on change. So when the application starts up, it will check and see if this file at this path exists. And if it does, it will load those settings and they will override the settings that we get baked in with our app settings.json. So for example, in my temp directory, I've got this runtime settings JSON that I created. And you'll notice that the host name for the database server is different because if we were deploying to Kubernetes, it would be different. It would be using a, uh, an internal service name that wouldn't be localhost. And so we would need to override that, potentially override it in every deployment environment. And so we would store this runtime settings in a Kubernetes config map. And we would, when we deploy our application, we would tell our application to mount that config map as a directory, and we would read it just like this. So the config map gets mapped mounted as temp config and in that config map is our runtime settings.json which we load as a file that's as simple as it gets it's just those four lines it's adding that config json and now we can get our configuration directly from our environment